Welcome to the Turbo Intruder. In this lesson, we are going to use the Turbo Intruder that is the extension from the Bob Suite. And that is also free for uh, Bob Suite Community Edition. You can go to Extender, go to B App Store. Here we can see the Turbo Intruder that I have already installed. And we can see uh, the popularity level that is also high and have been updated to the latest date here. And this is available inside the Bob Suite Community Edition along with the professional edition let's move to turbo intruder uh, by going to sending some of the requests from uh, here we can say in this case so going to uh, sending to just right click here and uh, after right click we can see send to turbo intruder before going to uh, use some of the cases and use uh, a scan or brute force some of the request let's see how a turbo intruder can be used and uh, that too from the creator of the turbo intruder it, it is available on the site of port swigger in a uh, article that the james kettle had the de developer for this turbo intruder uh, so very first what is the turbo intruder is the replacement for the intruder that is inside the pub suite but not exactly that instead it is known for speed flexibility and accuracy we can see here like the fast scalable flexible and all of that if we are going to uh, uh, learn more about the turbo intruder and want to use at highly paced you can uh, learn this and go to this uh, play this video and learn from direct from the developer of this tool but in some of the cases if you are going to use you will require uh, python language and the scripts to learn it manage the attacks or sending to but this is not for all of the requests you are going to use in the turbo intruder like in certain cases I've, if i'm going to use let me uh, use this all right so i have just sent uh, from the uh, request or let me do it once again because it requires some of the uh, selections to be done so if i am doing here selections that it is going to be uh, attacked for or say for example user agent so what I will do is I will select the whole user agent part here then I will send it to turbo intruder and then it will be added with the percent s that is marked for the payload that will be delivered to that point so once I have selected uh, meaning that it is the marker similar to the burp intruder that uh, puts the marker of uh, the uh, first and the last end of the uh, baseline or the base request you are going to attack for in this case this is percent and s can be used on the particular line or wherever you want to put your payload to the positions so this is exactly the payload positions that will be delivered this is marked with percent s now once we open it we can see the last code used and this one was the last ones uh, I used last time that says it we can see a large number of uh, scripts by the uh, creator of this tool in the Python codes and we can see the rate limit race conditions race benchmark a special word list and so on this is also the time attack timing attack with the state this is also beneficial in some of the uh, vulnerability hunting uh, to be placed on so the uh, going to for the first one that is the basics what it is says is the basics example of the python scripts uh, moving back to default in order to demonstrate all right so now what will happen i have already placed the marker here so let's uh, understand this code all of this code like the uh, it is coded in python here for the word in open so this is the word file that it will open in a simple way simple language that is the usr share dict and the words that is uh, that it comes with this tool and uh, this is the uh, function that handle the response that how the response will be available in the table response table uh, because by default it does not show any responses you need to tweak with the coding so the scripts here that is written in python so what it is going to do is going to deliver the words or the payloads at this point here it is the user isn't in the request 
and it will uh, show if anything is interesting then it will add in the table so let's start it and see if there is something interesting or not then we will tweak with the applications code uh, bottom of this tool we can see the uh, request that it have sent queued that is 100 in queue duration is there that is running and this is the request per second at this time you can say uh, 38 request per second is going and it is counting on connections are made is 10 retries is no false is no and here we can see the word that it is sending to and uh, we can see there is nothing in the payload table or the tab table of the result table of this tool so just need to halt it configure and i'm going to work with like the uh, if the status is 200 okay then it will do something and show up in the uh, results table so in this case uh, response and let's see if it says or not if there is anything all right so there is uh, issues with that this will not be there this will be only dot and there will be uh, one thing left that is the in now it's okay uh, let me attack it and now we can see the it is filtering out with the status code that is the 200 and we can see the speed you can see the number of speeds uh, i mean the request and what is the exactly the speed is actually even more you will find more speed than this one as you can see this is the 43 request per second let me increase it by making it a configurations so here is the request engine that uh, differs according to the configurations that we are going to do like the concurrent connections that it made is 5 the request per connection is 100 if you will increase the connections by 100 to 200 there will be also a, a deferment here so if i'm going to make it 200 and then attack all right we can see uh, the rps that is the request per second is not increased uh, but still uh, we are getting the same request i think so so we need to configure it once again and make the concurrent request to 20 or 30 and let's check if it is all right now we can see that the speed is increased to 235 that is the request per second and we can see the speed if we are going to taste large number of wave applications the speed matters and if you are going to hunt for in a hurry their speed also matters at that place we can see how fast it is scrolling down and sending claim made by this creator of uh, this tool is the 30,000 requests per second for a particular wave applications that also depends on the target server bandwidth and the request that it accepts but in case if it is allowing you to do so we can see it have done uh, like it is uh, less than one minute and it have done 15,000 around of the request let me uh, speed it up a little bit more here you can see the a pipeline that is say it is false it is also matter for the speed let me make it true and if, see if it works for the same all right so the rps level is increased and we can see it is by far more faster than the earlier one here we can see it have done around seven thousands in 20 seconds and it will do more even more than the last one so that's how it depends on the configurations of the python scripts of the python codings here and uh, the default uh, engines that you are going to use can also uh, be deferred like the results will be deferred in this case once i tweaked it let me increase the request level once again 
to see if it is working for more faster than not and here we can see uh, if i will make it descending all right now we can see the real time speed it will be automatically scrolled and there is no fails there is no retries because the retries matters here you need to be aware about the retries that it will uh, say it must be around the zero as per the description of this tool there must not be the fails if there is you can tweak the codes now uh, even if it is uh, not close the 40 seconds it have crossed the 12 thousands of requests and this what the speed it actually going to uh, tweak more let me create more connections concurrent connections here all right so now we can see uh, this time it have lagged or hanged at that application and the rps level is even more like the 721 and i think this is all failed that's why it is lagged let me halt it i think it will not go to halt it has been hanged all right so last time uh I made a large number of requests by tweaking it up and it actually hanged and it uh, the application in this case the pub suite crashed let me send it once again after restarting and here we can see uh, the uh, turbo intruder so going to send it all right so all of the extensions have been unloaded so there might be some of the issues because I have not used uh, this application Bob Suite by using the command line to so that I can assign the label of RAM. It is running on default, default management of the Bob Suite RAM or the memory management in this case. So now it has been added. Now let's send it to Bob Turbo Intruder. You can see here it is available now. And let me do it once again for user agent. All right, so let me send this to uh, Turbo Intruder, and now we can place a marker here by deleting all of this action here. Uh, this way, just place the percent and the s, and this will be marked for the payload processing. This was the last time code that I used uh, the 200 OK, and uh, in other case, I have just increased the number of concurrent requests. That is, must not be to that label if you don't have the system resources available so i'm going to use the five only the request and going to increase only the request per connection so let me try it once again and see if it works or not all right let me use uh show you once again uh we can also use some of the other uh like the rate limit uh bypass or a tool that can be forced to uh, test for the rate limit and every details found at this place we can also check for recursive we can also see the special word list as this tool comes with two word list that can be used to we can also choose the uh, scripts directory if you have or if you have downloaded from somewhere and installed it or pasted in inside your system we, we can also taste some of the uh, features of this tool if it is still working or not before going to test in the development we can uh, go to uh, timing attack like this is the with the state in each and every examples of this attack you can tweak and put your own code here to filter out or make your own request but you need to be familiar with the codings in this case it has been used but this is a little bit and shorter if you understand the code you can make it more clearer and more flexible for you to attack but still if you don't know there are already some of the scripts available over the internet using this uh, uh, portal like the github in this case if i am going to default one we can see this is the github.com and the it has been there you can go to there and you can find out 
all right let me uh, it is last time use so i will use this through last time concurrent request i'm going to use is 5 and the maximum request per connection is 500 and i'm testing it in the last phase so that if it is crashed i will move to other things it is warming up you can see engine warm up all right so the rps level is going to be high and it will be increased but this is not the uh, speed that we seen in the last action so i'm going to cancel it and that's all for the turbo intruder now move to the information about the turbo intruder that what you can do to uh, achieve your goal there are several attack modes and the multi-host attacks attack state multiple parameters debugging problems and everything more information can also be found and this is the url that you can go to and search for more information so if you are already familiar with the python scripts or the python codings you can open this site and you can tweak it more easily and do a lot more things in a fast speed fast paced so that's all for turbo intruder see you in the next lessons thank you